Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Mugamba mtia mikwano jange, mugamba mtia wa guy, never na guy. Yes, today I'm very happy at all kudamu kukira kona mwe. Uh, in today's video, uh, ngena kuzo mwezi kuminanya. Yes. No, nganya. Ngena kuzo mwezi nganya. Mwezi ogo kuna passport yankade, zija kubate zikola passport yankade zija kubate zikola so oyoye na aina passport yankade making a sure okuperanga oyi ya engiri josobola okufuna mu passport yankia nowadays bintu vya chuka obeda tichikweta agisa kuperanga okola the the other old legendary system that we are using na kuzinobali ita Ngini joso bula okola application online. Nebo ubedanga olimu guanga dala. E guanga mori. Wabeda one chibaita embassy. Oba chibaita consulate. Bubedanga obade toina embassy monsio. Enseyo jolimu. Ebeda ne consulate. Nge sobolo kudipresenting enseyo. So. Obeda oso bula okola application. Nga o applying a passport no funa passport yempia na kola video abazenga munda ba i made a video before engeri jo sobola okukola online application passport engeri jo sobola okukola mu na ye it was not detailed this time around i've come up with a tutorial engeri jo sobola oku applying a passport ngenda kuwa ka tutorial Nkusawa okalabi mpaka jokana gwera Ujako beranga osobo de okutegira Engiri josobo la okola mu Passport application Then after that Ujako berana ebi ntubino wino wa manga Ujako beranga obietaga Bumalo kujuza form weyo Ujako wato bufana nyibubidi Ogende Unawe wali Osasule sende Kwa yu formu jyosa jyogize Bachi printing out Umalu printing a formu yu Kwa ata Kwa ata sente Ozisindi kile omuntu alie Uganda Omuntu alie Uganda Akusasuli te sente mbanka Jivele mitualo abiri muetan Asasule mbanka Deni ngamba zeno kufunida Rekomenda agendo kuperanga Aku rekomendinga Ku passport yo, you have to be with a recommender then po amala po amala okuperanga amazo kusasula sente mbanka na okuweleza ne recommender document oye na aku recommend inze then katugwe no formu joma zo kujuza jikuate ojituale ku embassy togenda ku embassy nga tojuza bintu bino bono genda yonga tobirina bajia kuza uchitegela mganda wangi so kati Bumala ukubeda nga bulichimuchi maze nga mazo kujuza foo muezo Nga mazino kusasula sente mbanka Nga mazino kufuna rekomenda Kwa ata foo muezo ozituale ku embase Ozituale yo embase eja kusaba Ndoza zija kupeda dola nga Dola nga chukumi Obadira munga bibidi ya wabali mu United Arab Emirates Mochimanyi Basaba dira munga evi kumi bibidi Then nobeda nga Baso wala okushipinga passport yo Then neba kubile simu Noji receivinga Within United Arab Emirates Ntadeo katutorio Kano katutorio Bono kalaba no kamalako Kajia kuso wala okubilanga Oso wala okufuna passport yo Mchitegira mganda wangi Ngena kuzo mwezi nya Passport yo Nkadezi ya kubate zikola So Beranga Otegira ichigenda maso kusawa Olaweka video kano After you will thank me later Thank you As we all know That all the Ugandan passports Are no longer going to be valid by 2021 And a new East African passport Is needed And it's great to have A passport because once you have a passport you can be able to travel around the globe for business purposes for tourism purposes 
all chasing for greener pastures. So today I will show you step by step on how to apply online. Because we all know it's no longer allowed to apply for a passport in Uganda physically from the Ministry of Internal Affairs. So at the end of the video, this video, I will paste a link which will take you to this page. How to reach this page. You will tap on the link. Once you tap on the link, it will bring this. So once you reach here, you will see this. Apply for a passport. Start a new application. If you are applying for the first time online, you click here. If you are applied online, but you did not complete the process, you need to come here. You click on this, resume save the application. But if you have applied and you have done all the payments and you want to proceed, fix an appointment you click here and if at all you're checking for the status that is if you're done with all the process you need to check the status to see if the your passport is ready for pickup you still come here and click on this but since today we are focusing on how to apply for a new passport or renewing for a passport for example you are having all the passport in the and it's expired you need to renew still you come here you click on this once you click on that you will see this page this page is it's for terms and conditions check this button then you accept here you fill in your Uganda number you see once the number is not registered back home it will come up like this but once the number is registered back home, let me put the correct one. It will put, it will come up like that, valid. Then you fill in your email address. Your email address then here we have security questions there are four security questions so you choose one what I decided to choose what was your childhood nickname then I'll go for my childhood nickname then there is a text which we need to put in this box you copy what is there then you fill in the box then you click save and continue don't save and exit once you click here save and exit it will save but it will exit it, the page will will go away so here we have the passport type so when you're applying you should know your status you should know what you are for ordinary, this is for ordinary for civilians. For this is for the majority for citizens are uh, the civilians. This is for official and diplomatic. It's for government officials and families, and uh, maybe government employees, for example, ministers or member of parliament. So, since you are none of them, you are just an ordinary civilian. You click ordinary. So I'll go for ordinary. Yes. So here, type of application you're making. Are you applying for a new passport? If you're applying for the very, very first time, 
you, up, you click here, new application. But if you're applying for the second time, for example, renewal, you click renewal. If you're changing details, for example, you need to change some names or some details in your, in your application, you need to click here. If uh, your passport is lost, you need to click lost. But since um, I have already all the passport, I need renew. So I'll click renew. So here, priority, standard and express. So which one you prefer? Do you want it like in uh, three to two days, you click express. If you want it uh, maybe for a period of 15 days, you click standard. So I'll click standard since I don't need it at the earliest. I'll click standard. If you need it at the soonest, you click express. But there the fee differs. It's not the same amount you need to pay for standard and express. It's different amount depending on what you decided. Here, place of submission. So since I'm in United Arab Emirates, I'll go for Abu Dhabi. Still here, Abu Dhabi. The reason why because our embassy here in United Arab Emirates, it's in Abu Dhabi only. It's where we can get all the government uh, requirements. If you need a passport or you want to do anything to do with passport, you need to go to our embassy in Abu Dhabi. So I'll click Abu Dhabi. So since I'm just renewing, that's why I have this message here. All the passport details i need to fill in the old passport details so if you're applying for the very first time you will not receive this message so for now i'll fill in my passport number my old passport number it was issued in kampala Seven July twenty eleven, and it is expiring July seventh of July twenty twenty one. So here you click seven and continue. So here, personal details, I will put my name, Fatuma, Namsoke. If you have other telephone number you feel, but since I don't have, I will not feel national ID. <clears throat> so here, you need to uh, fill in the national ID number or NIN number what we call in the gamut or in Okubango in the gamut or filling them here or to apply for a new passport even if you're renewing you need to have a Ndagamont here you put the card number the card number from your national ID here you choose your gender, date of birth, born of 8th of August. Two thousand nine. Marital status, I'll put single. Place of birth, Malago. Professional put business studies. You you choose your profession from here. So I've chose uh, business studies. Country of residence. I'm currently in United Arab Emirates. Uh, you, if you are, if you are out of Uganda, state the address. So I'll put my address, Sheikh Zaid Road.
Sheikh Zayed Road, Jumeirah Tower. Then here, details of origin, your, your country of origin. So originally from Uganda, district you put, um, you can choose any district of your own. I'll choose Kampala municipality, Kampala Central. County Kampala Central. So here you come for your tribe. I'll put Baganda, Clan, Tumbe. You fill in the name of the descendants. So you save continue. save and continue so then If you make a mistake somewhere, it will not continue. Citizenship by birth. Then you save and continue. So since I uh, hear you fill in your father's details. If your father is alive, you click alive. Deceased, unknown, you click accordingly. So my father is deceased. Then I will in, I'll put here his name. The next his name. Then he was a Ugandan. date of birth you choose his date of birth from here then if you know the ID number for example his name number from the national ID you fill if you don't have then you leave it it's not mandatory to fill this part then country of residence was Uganda, so here the district, you can put Luelo or any, you can choose accordingly. Sub county. Then nationality, still Uganda. Baganda. Then you come here, you fill in your mother's details. So if your mother is alive, you click alive. Deceased, you click deceased. His date of birth, you fill in her date of birth, born in Uganda also, place Kampala, residence of Uganda, district, you come here, you can put Kampala also.
So the nationality here, Ugandan, the tribe, Baganda. Then still, you continue. So you have to fill in the next of kin. You choose your next of kin. It could be your sister, your friend, any. All your, your child. That is if you have kids. You put the name. the number <coughs> so you should know the NIN number or the passport number of your next of kin so I'll put the NIN number first the passport number of my next of kin here relationship she's a sister then residential address Uganda uh, district Kawempe Kampala district Kawempe division. Okay, Place of work, Mulago. Then you continue. You save and continue. So you need to have a recommender. Recommender. So here you put you fill in the recommender details. Uh, you can still choose any of your colleagues, all your friends or family members. I'll put has now. Nalmansi. Professional business studies. Address. number also so before you start filling this form you need to have the details of the next of kin and the recommender you need to have their national IDs and their passports before you start filling Then you save and continue. So here, <clears throat> this is our next to the last part, where we have the payment mode. So if you are to pay by Mastercard, you click Mastercard. If you are to pay with over the counter, you click over the counter. Over the counter, normally that is if you are in Uganda. Here is the bank list. You can choose any bank of your choice. You click over the counter there. Then here you come and choose the bank. So since I'm not in Uganda currently, I will choose online MasterCard. Then save and continue. So it will bring a review information page where you will come and read through before you submit your form 
you come and read through if you need to do some changes you edit <coughs> you edit if you need to then since I've chose a payment method I'll come here and edit payment method you click here and edit accordingly you put in your uh, your your card number and everything which is required from here so after that you agree with the terms and conditions you check that box then later on you come here you still fill in this information there then you click save and complete so once you reach here you can say you can click print Because since it's an online application, you need to come after after filling it all, you will receive this page, then you print it out. After printing it out, you get your passport photo. It should be black and white. Then you paste it here on a printed copy. You paste it, you don't staple. Because this page doesn't require staple, stapling machine. You don't need staples. It's even indicated from here. You just need to get office glue and paste it here. Then you submit to the embassy. Once this is done, then you wait for your passport. If this video has made sense to you, kindly uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, share and comment. Thank you very much everyone. See ya!